Hi, my name is Brian Spindler. I'm in IOR for hospital inspections. We're going to talk about door swings in a hospital smoke barrier. Notice the code section up there, 709 smoke barriers. This is the 2007 code we're talking about. 709 openings in smoke barriers shall be protected in accordance with 715 of the building code. <clears throat> so we're going to take a look at this uh, this section and uh, notice again three times is the charm 709.5 openings in a smoke barrier shall be protected in accordance with 715 okay this seems to be confusing for folks so all we're gonna do is hit the door swings in a smoke barrier within a hospital so we're looking at chapter 7 and we're gonna get all of our answers notice that we've got a pair of doors right here this is a corridor and this happens to be a smoke barrier that we're looking at we're going to discuss it really quick within about five minutes you'll know about the door swings and okay here we go 709.5 in group i2 where doors are installed across corridors a pair of opposite swinging doors without a center mullion are required there you have it where's it come from the description of group I2 is in section 308.3, also covers nursing homes, mental hospitals, and detoxification facilities. Okay, getting back to the code section, how do you find it on the plans then? Well, take a look at your life safety plan. Then figure out what is the smoke barrier symbol. So you go down to the legend, see it right there? It's got S's there and it got HS's, so we got two different types. Then you go to your set of plans. Take a look at the set of plans. You'll see those indications right there. And notice that, uh, I don't know how clear this comes up, but there's in that particular location where that S is going through, you got opposite swinging doors. So there you have it, quick and dirty. Lots more on doors. This is just a two-minute quickie. We're going to do more of these in all sorts of different aspects of the code. Take care.